Hello! Today we continue with additional topic which is going to be read and writing a parameter. And before we start, few words, I just rename our visualization and now it's called axis control. And I also make this nicer that we know which function blocks are dedicated for which instance. So first of all, how do we read or how do we write? And there are several ways, but I think the best way is to use something from this library here. It's called SM3 drive etc. And if we open, we can find under COE read parameter write parameter and it's very nice because you just put index sub index and immediately you get your value to some output word if you are reading or you put some value if you are writing directly you don't need to use a pointer to some variable but also we have visualization templates which are really nice okay let's get right to it and for this we will start with adding additional visualization and we'll call access administration a long name but doesn't matter all right now we have our visualization let's create an instance of our variables so we will call it smc3 etc read ah, let's call it drive f2 so smc3 etc read parameter and immediately let's put it that it's nice and we will just copy paste this line we will replace read with write and we will replace read with write so we have our instances created now let's call them in our motion function blocks again at the end f2 instance call read read drive okay f2 instance call and let's find it right drive and now boring part And yeah, let's put it again here. And we need to add axis, but this time it's not the first place, it's somewhere in the middle. Somewhere, control V. And that's it. Now axis administration, frame, SMC3 ETC read parameter. Okay, reference to our instance, uh, read, okay, again frame, smc3, etc, right, good, reference, to our write instance and that's about it I think we are good and set we can load this program looks okay great let's start with read and you can see that we need something called index sub index and this is in fact our parameters now let's 
decide which parameter we will read and if we recalled homing then we said that we need to use a certain parameter for a search for index pulse because we are using index pulse as an our homing method let's go to the manual for the moment so I'm already on page 331 and the parameter in question is home out velocity and in fact this velocity is used to search for an index pulse and here we see that value is 6. We need either cathedral address. So this is 60992 hexa and important thing is to remember this is 32 bit register. Okay, let's go back to codices. So we put here 16 hash 6099 and 2 is 2 in hexa or in decimal and we execute. And we see here data length 4 which equals 4 bytes which equals 32 bit register and the value is 6. Great, so let's put an index again 16 hash 6099 sub index 2 and we need to put 4 as we want to write 4 bytes and let's put value 325. Execute. Done. And now if we read the same parameter we get 325. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.